I have Dr. Kristen Oswald here with me from OBGYN Associates of Holland. And Dr. Oswald, we've been talking about long COVID, but specifically we want to talk about COVID during pregnancy. And if you can start, um, if you can just tell me a little bit about some of the risks that women who are pregnant may experience if they contract COVID. Yeah, so um, kind of overall, the overall theme is that if a woman contracts COVID during pregnancy, um, because of the physiologic changes that happen in pregnancy, they're just at increased risk of having more severe disease. Um, meaning um, things like potentially having to be admitted into the, uh, the hospital, um, needing a ventilator, things like that. Um, normally, you know, women are of reproductive age are usually generally healthy, but just because of pregnancy, it increases some risks. Um, back with the Delta variant, we were also seeing changes in um, like coagulopathies, meaning kind of changes in how the blood clots in pregnancy, increased risk for hypertension or um, blood pressure issues in pregnancy, um, things like that. But um, with these other variants, we haven't seen that as much, um, but still kind of something that we're thinking about. If a woman was to find themselves with COVID during pregnancy, how do you all manage that? It's important if a woman contracts COVID while pregnant that she lets her doctor know um, because we do manage that pregnancy a little bit differently. Um, one thing is we sometimes recommend um, aspirin. Uh, so it's important to let us know so that we can um, prescribe that or help the patient get that. Um, sometimes we get follow-up ultrasounds later in the pregnancy just to um, look at the growth of baby. We might recommend non-stress tests later on in pregnancy, which is where we put um, the mother on the monitor um, to monitor baby and we're looking at baby's heart tones. Um, obviously, in the moment of having COVID, we want to be uh, monitoring the patient as well. So just making sure that um, she's not developing any of those severe complications. Um, and there are uh, different treatment options for um, COVID itself in pregnancy too, um, like monoclonal antibodies, uh, Paxlovid, things like that. So it's just important to contact your doctor so we can kind of talk about potentially um, needing any of those treatments and kind of how to manage the pregnancy further. And Dr. Oswald, I know there's been some concern around miscarriage in COVID. Is there some sort of correlation between those two? So the data that we have right now um, does not suggest that there's any increased risk of miscarriage um, with COVID and pregnancy. If a mother was to contract COVID and have their baby, is there um, an increased risk for a newborn contracting COVID as well? So if a baby is born uh, to a mother who has COVID currently, um, just like there's an increased risk of getting any other illnesses or viruses, um, that baby is at risk for COVID at that point in time too. So it's just important to you know, wear a mask, practice hand washing, things like that to help protect baby from contracting COVID. What about vaccines? I know initially there was some concern about um, women who are pregnant receiving the COVID vaccine. Can you tell us where we're at now? Yeah, so right now the evidence that we have um, supports vaccination against COVID during pregnancy. Um, one, to just help with um, protecting mom from hopefully developing severe infection if mom were to um, get COVID in pregnancy. But also there's benefits to baby too. Um, so mom getting the vaccine creates antibodies. Those antibodies can cross through the placenta and hopefully help protect baby against COVID as well. Um, so we are definitely recommending vaccination and the booster if you um, most women will qualify in pregnancy as well. If a woman finds herself pregnant, um, can you just talk about some of the basic things initially? Is it contacting your primary care doctor? What would what does something like that look like? Uh, so if a woman um, contracts COVID during pregnancy, please call your OBGYN to let them know or your primary care provider um, so that we can help manage that during your pregnancy. Thank you, Dr. Oswald. You're welcome.